Magnamalo is coming to Monster Hunter now. And as someone who hunted this fearsome beast countless of times in Monster Hunter Rise, Magnamalo has become one of my favorite monsters to hunt. I'm very excited for this monster, so in this video, I'ma tell you guys what you can expect from Magnamalo. We are going to take a look at its moveset, the new blast weapons it will add, and the epic arm set you can craft. Magnamalo is an aggressive predator who uses strong stumping attacks and its spear-shaped tail to hunt down its prey. It will swing it around, stab you, and even shoot out deadly energy beams out of it. When enraged, it will engulf itself in purple hellfire, and it will use it in various ways to attack those foolish enough to challenge it. It can shoot out balls of hellfire as projectiles or even release explosive dust clouds. Magnamalo will use its speed to zip around the screen and launch hunters in the air and then dive down and cause a big explosion. Now those are just some of the ways Magnamalo will attack us. So what can we do to effectively hunt down this monster? Well, you need to target the parts that are burning with hellfire. Usually, this would be its forelegs, head, back, and tail. When you extinguish the hellfire, Magnamalo will get staggered. Now, Magnamalo can also inflict us hunters with the hellfire blight. Much like the blast blight, if you leave it alone, it will explode and deal a lot of damage. You can roll a couple of times to remove the hellfire blight, or in Monster Hunter Rise, you can perform a wire dash. Using a wire bug to remove the hellfire will leave what I like to call a hellfire trap. If any monster touches it, that monster will get damaged, and it guarantees a knockdown the first time they get damaged. Now, if we can lay down hellfire traps in Monster Hunter now, that guaranteed knockdown will be a game changer. The big problem is we don't have wire bugs in Monster Hunter now. So there's no way we can perform a wire dash to leave that hellfire trap on the screen. So I wonder how we can utilize this hellfire blight in Monster Hunter now. Maybe we can leave the hellfire when we remove it by rolling. Well, we just have to find out in the next season. For weapons, Magnamalo will add a new set of blast weapons. It even has a blast dual blades. Will Niantic finally add a status dual blades in Monster Hunter now? Well, the possibility is there, but we will have to wait and see. But when you compare the Magnamalo weapons to the Teostro weapons, they're both blast weapons, but Teostro weapons have the higher raw and blast stats. Well, it is to be expected since Teostro is an Elder Dragon. Now, it's already been confirmed that we're getting a Magnamalo heavy boga. The question is, will we finally get a Blast Light Bowgun, a Blast Gun Lance, or even a Blast Dual Blades, since those are the only weapons missing a Blast Weapon. But anyways, I already have a Teostra Sword and Shield, so when it comes to Magna Malo, I'll be focusing on crafting its armor set. I mean, just look at this set. We can finally cosplay as Samurais in Monster Hunter now. Now, it's not all about just looking cool. This new armor set also comes with the new skill, Hellfire Cloak. In Monster Hunter Rise, this skill increases the damage of the Hellfire traps, and it also automatically inflicts you with the Hellfire Blight when the monster is enraged. So it's kinda like Bubbly Dance in a way that the skill rewards you with a Blight after fulfilling certain conditions. So there is a potential to use Hellfire Cloak in combination with Resuscitate to get a damage buff. And that's what I'm really excited about Magnamalo. It's the new armor skills and the new builds we can play around with. The new Magnamalo armor pieces might even buff my current Blast build, which you can check out next in this video right here. 